Hello, today we're going to take a look at the Minimoog Model D app and we'll show you how to navigate through it and which gestures allow you to be very interactive with all the controls that are available. As the app starts up, you'll see the beautiful front panel of the Minimoog Model D with all the controls available. Now, as it turns out, when you play, there are three sections that are really interesting. The oscillator bank, the mixer, and the modifiers. So in order to make it convenient for you when you're performing or exploring the app, we have this button in the top bar that is called play. If you press it, the front panel will be zoomed in and the keys become larger. Also, the pitch wheel and the mod wheel to the left side become larger so that it's more convenient for you to perform with the Minimog Model D app. <laughs> Now you are not required to use that button in the toolbar to uh, navigate back and forth between play mode. You can simply double tap on the front panel to switch between play and the full view of the front panel. So sometimes you're exploring a sound, you're tweaking it out, but you actually like the way it was before you've got an undo and a redo button in the top bar that allows you to go back to the previous state. Also, as you're tweaking your knob, sometimes you want to go back to a known position of the knob, simply double tap it and it will go to a neutral position. In this case, the filter frequency will open up completely, which allows you to continue to explore and without losing where you are. Now another nice trick is when you're tweaking your sound, you might want to be able to have much finer grained control over the travel of the knob. So as you hold down a finger on the panel or on the wood and then tweak a knob, you will notice that it's going to move much more slowly, allowing you to tweak and dial in exactly that sound that you're looking for. You'll notice that the top section of the Minimoog Model D app shows you a series of presets and banks that you can navigate to recall existing sounds. Look at the other demo video to learn how to navigate those sounds. But now we're going to look at the effects section, which replaces that whole part. So by tapping on the button in the toolbar that is labeled effects, you will see four panels appear that allow you to add effects to your Minimoog Model D sounds. <laughs> So here you've got the delay pedal. If you tap on the word delay, it will come down and allow you to tweak the controls of the delay. I'm going to add more delay sound to it and increase the time. Now, if you want to turn that effect off, you simply press the on button at the bottom of the pedal so that you can hear the sound without the effect. Now, another neat trick to uh, collapse and expand these pedals is that you don't have to tap. You can also swipe upwards and swipe downwards. Thank you for watching and see you in the next demo video of the Minimoog Model D app.